Hey guys, it's Danny. Now I was at the grocery store just the other day and I had my first sighting of baby artichokes. So I bought a couple of pounds so I could show you guys what to do with them just in case you think you don't know how to cook them. For this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my lemon and garlic sauteed baby artichokes. Now, once you cut artichokes, they begin to oxidize very quickly, which basically just means they start to turn black. So you need to get them into some type of acid as fast as you can. Now, traditionally, a lot of people will put them into a big bowl of water with some fresh squeezed lemon juice or a little bit of vinegar. But what I like to do is combine two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of water, the juice from one big fat juicy lemon, two cloves of crushed garlic, and a pinch of kosher salt. Not only is this gonna help slow the oxidation process down, but it's gonna flavor up our artichokes when they're cooking. Now, baby artichokes are actually very easy to prepare once you know what you're doing. So, get yourself a garbage bowl, and you're gonna start by cutting off the top third of the artichoke. So just take it off. Then flip it around, and you're gonna trim the stem. Now, if you had beautiful, fresh artichoke stems, by all means, you could leave them on. But mine, not so beautiful, so they're coming off. Then, you're just gonna pick it up and pull off all of the tough outer leaves on the artichoke. And you're gonna keep on going until you get down to the middle where you see these really light, thin, tender artichoke leaves. Honestly, I think the most surprising thing about working with baby artichokes is how much of the artichoke you don't use. But don't think twice about it, guys. You're just gonna keep going till you get down to those tender little gems. And as you can see, too, you'll have some thick, coarse stems left down at the bottom. Just grab a paring knife and you can just trim those right off, too. From here, we're just gonna slice them in half lengthwise and then get them into that lemon olive oil mixture that we made. Just make sure the whole thing has a light coating on it. I've got one pound of artichokes here, so you're gonna keep on going till you get them all done. So once you've got all your artichokes ready to roll, you just want to have a medium-sized non-stick saute pan heating up over a medium-high heat, and then you're gonna get all of the artichokes and that lemony garlic mixture right into the pan. Give them a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And you know, if you notice that a few of your artichokes have started to oxidize, honestly, just don't worry about it. We're gonna keep on moving forward. Then you wanna flip them so all the artichokes are heart side down in the pan. And I'm just gonna let these go for about three minutes or until you see that they're browning and caramelizing a little bit. Once you see this, add a splash of water into your pan, pop on a lid. This is just gonna steam now for another minute or two. Lid comes off, you're gonna flip all the artichokes onto their backs, let them go for another two or three minutes, they'll brown up pretty quickly, and then another splash of water, pop that lid on, just gonna finish them off with a steam so we make sure they're tender all the way through. This whole process will not take you longer than eight to 10 minutes. Now you're gonna know they're done because they're gonna have a nice little caramelization on the outside and they will be fork or knife tender. And if you've got it, I always love to serve them with a little fresh lemon on the side. so fresh and bright and lemony. It's, this is like the part of the artichoke you work so hard for, but you get to eat the whole thing. You guys have got to promise me, if you see these, that you will buy them and give them a try. And then come back here, talk to me down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness.